Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini for the month of January. It is a general reading and so that means it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this doesn't sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there and if not, then simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay. Um, right at the center of this reading, I think we'll begin there, we have uh, the knife and uh, it was given to me in this position because I keep all of these cards in the upright and it, you could literally see it just turn right around as it came out and it's coming with the High Priestess and this King of Wands. Now, I'll tell you what I think this is. Because see, the knife, when it is upright, it can go either of two ways. Um, it could be uh, severing a relationship or it could be finding a solution. Now it is in the reverse, so I feel like there was a severing of a relationship. And this King of Wands is looking at it and looking at the High Priestess who represents the unknown. So, and the message on this card of the High Priestess um, is the unknown. It is um, the idea of not knowing what lies ahead is of utmost importance, is a very important message on this card. And so this king here, um, who really likes to be in control of things, is now maybe feeling quite insecure because he's looking here towards the high priestess and towards this knife reversed, okay, so the severed relationship, and um, does not know what lies ahead, and that makes this person uncomfortable. So at the root, it could be that hmm, it could be that uh, somebody's secret came out, uh, or something that was hidden or that was kept hidden came out was revealed. Most likely having to do with this, it's probably this person's secret who came out. I feel. And so, um, the other person made a judgment call, okay? All right, and this brings in the tower and upset on that four of wands in the reverse. So you see, the tower causes somebody's world maybe to be turned upside down, okay? It causes um, disappointment. Okay, what, it's interesting because what we see down here is this person who actually brought in the tower, see, something happened here, okay, um, maybe uh, because the, uh, the king of swords when he's upright, he would have uh, made a head over heart decision, but in the reverse, maybe he made a decision from emotion. And maybe now, uh, maybe it was like something that happened quite unexpectedly. It was just like this big disruption, you know. Now maybe he regrets not having thought things through. Maybe he did something very impulsively br that brought in this tower that caused the other person to uh, make a, uh, a judgment call uh, on him or on the situation. And now he's wondering how he can restore the order. You know, it's like he lost control of this, uh, or maybe of himself, or of lost control of his emotions, probably. Did something impulsively, and yet that brought in the tower. But now, here's the problem. Okay, so right now in this position, he's got a very guilty conscience, okay? And he's got uh, a lot of pride, 
okay and so um this could hold him back from possibly doing the right thing for some time okay uh, so uh, let, let's just continue with this story um, I feel this is the other person's energy here okay uh, having to do um, with how they feel about what was done to them uh, we have the queen see the king is there he's got the guilty conscience and the queen is there with her sword she definitely uh, laid judgment on this um, on this knight whom she felt very passionate about I feel that it is possible because we do have elixir here and from what I see here is this person does come back around eventually the conscience gets to them uh, the heart uh, because they do uh, love this person clearly and they want to restore the order but you know they are very worried and um, she is most likely very uh, defensive because the sword is straight up bitter resentful possibly towards this knight as he steps forward and she uh, she feels that she has a lot of information already on this uh, knight and uh, possibly in, is thinking that this situation may no longer serve her you know uh, here she is here sitting looking at him as he comes forward but and it's almost like she turns her back on him and she's looking at all the information that she has on him he's coming forward with that rose between his between his teeth here and she's kind of turning her back and she's well she's like well I have this on you and this on you I've got a lot of I, like you've got a lot of strikes against you here and I'm thinking of just you know walking away I'm not sure if this uh, emotionally serves me or not because clearly uh, with the history card here you have a history with this person and maybe they have a history of um, somewhat bad behavior okay uh, or of uh, hurting you um, but it is about a healing um, we do also have the card of devotion here is which speaks to passion desire um, being devoted to someone something um, and I, I feel that uh, well it could be that you may feel at this time with all the uh, with this latest incident that happened you may feel that you you've done everything that you could for that person you were devoted to that person you gave it their all you know your all excuse me and um, history may be you know uh, keep repeating itself it's like the history comes back to haunt you and so they come back with the rose between their teeth and uh, wanting uh, another chance here and you are hesitating on this you know um, this person is very important to you Th their energy is over here and you are very important to them I feel like they want they come back wanting to right a wrong because we have the card of humanity here with the lion the lion represents an important person it also represents a, a challenge and the card of humanity is um, making up or wanting to make up for a mistake or a failure okay wanting to regain possession of something so kind of uh, wanting to get you back I mean this could be uh, I, these energies can be vice versa please keep that in mind okay I feel like uh, somebody and it's interesting it's really interesting because of what happened because of wounds from the past that have not been healed properly with the elixir being there 
you will look at this opportunity as uh, empty words and empty promises, okay? But you have the Wheel of Fortune here. And so I would advise you to take a second look at this. I would advise you, um, really, to give this another chance because why? Because you have another wheel. <laughs> Honestly, one wheel would have been enough for me, but I see twice. You need to take a second look at this. Okay, this person's coming back. This is in your favor and you might turn it away or walk away from it because of a past wound that you have not dealt with, that you have not healed. You know, you might feel that, uh, that this person is unpredictable. You uh, may not, um, or you may be uncomfortable with the unknown because of the high priestess here. Um, you don't know if you're going to find a solution to this or not. Here we have the communication coming. Um, and you're struggling with, with this news that you get from this person. And this news is about a new beginning. It is, uh, it does bring in new growth and reliability, but that's not the way you're seeing it. You're seeing, um, you're seeing through the eyes of the past, basically, is what I'm getting. Yeah. So you have this opportunity to heal this relationship. It is coming towards you. Um, judgment is about forgiveness. So forgiveness is at the root of this. Being able to forgive, um, forgive the past. And where, but it's like this queen here is, she's, she's got all these strikes against him, and she's not so forgiving. So I ask you uh, to not judge so quickly, and to take another look at this. Um, your overall message from um, from the Gaia oracles is the night wind, and it is about facing your fears. It is um, about subconscious release, and it is about healing. Exactly what we were just talking about. You see, this card. Um, is indicating that there is something that is troubling you, okay? Yet you are not openly acknowledging this either to yourself or others. This unresolved issue has created fear and anxiety, which you have yet to resolve. And this is issue and hurt from the past. It's all these strikes that you've gathered up here, all the information. And so, because of this, your subconscious mind is processing the issue as you sleep. So, you're probably not sleeping all that well. Um, the fear can resurface in your dreams um, time and time again. It can also cause you to uh, react from it in when you are awake, okay? The, uh, okay, so it, 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 uh, the fear resurfaces in your dreams over and over again in various forms and guises. And, um, this is your subconscious mind's way of dealing with the issue and forcing you to face, uh, your fear, actually. So, 
um, on and on some level it is helpful however the only way this issue can be resolved is by consciously facing your fear acknowledging and expressing your fear is the first major step towards resolving the issue that you're facing with this person or healing that which has been troubling you and or actually I you know I feel that you need to sit down and talk about this with this person you have a brand new opportunity here um, and it it seems like it is in your favor but the past is blinding you to this I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also um, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you